around on the car so you can see what condition it's in. We'll start with the worst bit. El Curvo. Very disappointed. Ugh. It's not that bad. As far as curved alloys go, I have curved worse alloys than that. Not this car. A cheaper, lesser, a lesser car. Um, but once you know you've done it. Yeah, once you know you've done it, it's a kind of a slippery uh, slope, isn't it? And you're just like, oh, I'll just sod it. I'll just curve all of them. Because then they match. As far as the lease goes, I don't think I'm actually going to do anything about it. Like, I know some people worry about like what's the charge going to be when the car goes back either I won't get charged for it because it's that small or the fee will be something like um, I don't know it should be like £40, £50 and at least then I know that it's getting done to the proper standard now I could take it to like one of these alloy wheel refurbishment places I could spend 50 quid. but if they don't do a good enough job and Volkswagen Finance think that's not good enough they'll charge me again and then you're paying anyway i've paid twice most people i think just kind of leave stuff like that as far as the body goes it's pretty mint the only thing there is a couple of marks on the white paint uh, from like chip marks and stuff like stones but i imagine they probably polish out if we put a bit of elbow grease into it yeah like all the gloss all the gloss black stuff that's polished up really well like just from like it was a crap job really I just used the jet washer and then like a chamois and as you can see that's what's come up so if i actually put some like polish on it and stuff yeah it'd come up even better when i first got the car i did a little google and i found out a few things that i want to do and one of them which i've never been able to figure out is reversing mirrors now obviously the mirrors automatically fold when you lock the car but there's a, apparently there's a thing where like you stick the car into reverse and like the mirrors drop down you know so you're looking at the curb and i guess that ties into why you want the reversing camera yeah and also it's pretty cool i think it's like like that's pretty cool yeah you know, it's a bit like transformer isn't it so yeah if anyone knows how to set up the reversing mirror on the golf let me know we'll make a video on it we'll give you a shout out you know all that sort of stuff also if there's any other tips and tricks you've got like secret menus things that you've done to set it up in your own special way stuff with your phone stuff with carplay that would be cool comment we'll give you a shout out the pipes if we shot this video a couple of days ago they would have been black they would have looked like pipes off a of gtd like they were and it wasn't even like just the outside ones were black they were that dirty all four of them were black and i haven't really razzed it that much like i've done it a, a few times it's only really been using the outside pipes so what i did was use this like household product i'll bring it in and we'll do a video on it and it's called shadazzle and it's like a pad and then like this like like white powdery type stuff you put a bit of water in it and then go over the the chrome wipe it off and that's what you get after about 10 minutes work the only things that have been left is like these tiny little like pitted marks there it looks mint doesn't it, it yeah, looks yeah, brand yeah. new yeah yeah that's the only thing i spotted before was like there's um there's quite a few marks on the uh, mirror cap. I think they might either just polish up, I reckon, or maybe I'll try and use the thing that I've used on the pipes. But I don't actually know if that's that's probably plastic, not metal, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll be careful about that. As far as like the white paint goes and the dirt, the only area that I find gets really dirty really quickly is like this. And now it's probably the same on any car with any paint. It's just on the white paint. It just shows up like straight away. When it's clean, it looks mint. What do you think? Um, but when it's dirty, it just looks crap. Like a dirty, dirty van. And yeah. I think with a like, metallic paint, I think it's pretty hard to tell. When... So what would you have gone for? <sighs> See, like, Le Pis Blue just shouts out Golf R. The black. I don't really like the black on the Golf R because you can't see all like the black details. You know, like yeah. the gloss black at the front and all that. So about the 
car about 10, 11 months. I've done almost 8,000 miles. If we talk about the lease, my lease is 8,000 miles per year. So I'm going to go over it by a thousand or two, I reckon. Which isn't that bad because I knew I was going to go over um, and I've actually driven it quite a bit. So what you can do with a lease is halfway through your contract, you can phone up the finance company, especially with Volkswagen Finance, and ask them to give you more miles per year. So say uh, all of a sudden you change jobs and now your commute is like 100 miles away. You don't really want to be stuck in your 5k contract yeah. for like two years. So you can phone them up and ask for like an increase in mileage and they'll give you a quote rather than having to pay all the sum at the end when you do like the excess mileage. But I did that and the deal wasn't that good because there was like a, um, a 60 pound admin fee. So it just worked out better if I just put the money away every month yeah, and then pay the excess fee at the end. And sometimes they will give you a better deal. That's going off topic. Let's go. Yeah, so like I said, I've done 8,000 miles. What have we done with the car? We've had three dogs in the back, just had a baby. So we've got like a baby seat in the back. We've been to the tip run loads. You know, we've had all the, all the seats down, we've been to Ikea. The car's been used like a proper estate. Been my daily driver. I think my commute was like 30 miles every day. Yeah, it feels like I've been in the car non-stop. You know, some people say, oh, where are you gonna get a lease car just for the car to sit on your driveway? That definitely hasn't been the case. is massive it's very rarely that i've ever felt like the boot is not big enough the only time that i've noticed the boot's not big enough has been recently when i've been trying to put the pram in the car in the boot the pram folds down it's like dad problems and then having like two dogs in the back as well and i'm not sure if it's the the shape of the boot it's not really the like how much literage you can get in the boot. It's more just like the shape. If, I'd probably be able to improve it if I took out the parcel shelf, to be fair. To stop the boot, the pram flying around, I got like a little bungee strap. So I can show you that in a bit. I think that's quite a good tip. If you are going to be carrying like something in the boot that you don't want flying around. So, as I've said, dog wagon. So, dog guard and uh, rubber mat. I would definitely be getting the rubber mat whatever you're doing just because it saves like it fits really well this is like this is from a company called travel it fits like perfect and obviously there's like a few dog hairs in it but they'll just come up like if that wasn't there it'd be covered in sand mud like stuff that i've took to the tip all sorts of crap oh yeah that's one thing i would have got here where the dogs have been like jumping up they're pretty good to be fair there's a couple of tiny scratches on there and I think if I had metallic paint, you'd be able to see them a lot more. Yeah. Whereas because it's on the white paint, I don't think they'll get picked up when I'm handing the car back. I know you can get like a boot liner, like a boot, what's it called, a boot sill. I think you can get like a clear one or you can get like a black one, uh, like a protector. Maybe I would have got that, but in hindsight. Shows me bungee cords, what I got was, I got this. This is for when I'm putting the pram in. So the pram folds up and it takes up about like that sort of space. And obviously the two dogs jump in the back there. You get this, you, go, you tie it around like this, and then you double it over, and obviously like tie it onto itself there. And then the pram isn't gonna squish the dogs when I send it flying around the corner. So one thing that's coming really handy is this. I know we've already spoke about it in the past with Dave, but like, you don't think about putting the seats down when you're carrying a load of stuff into the car. So your hands are full with like a big piece of wood. And then you're like, oh, the seats are up. But you just go, seats fly down. And you're good to go. And you, and you slide it in. had a baby so I've got an ISO fix base so what that does is just slots into the two ISO fix ports and then the car seat just clips in and you don't have to mess about with the seat belt every time you're doing it and like we've got a couple of those because obviously like my wife's got a car the 
mother-in-law's got a car so we've got a few bases but just one car seat for the baby so if you Genius. haven't got kids if you haven't got kids you've probably just completely switched off and skipped and you're not watching this video anymore but if you have got kids or you're about to have kids it might be interesting these are questions we get asked yes you didn't have to go to this much trouble you didn't have to have a kid just for the I video. did I did that for the tube I got were reversing camera because I didn't realize how cheap that was I think it's only like 400 pound the optional extras that I would have liked are pan roof I probably wouldn't have paid for it though because it's quite expensive and the metallic paint because white I think I'm just a bit sick of white it just looks like a bit of a fan or you know like a washing machine or you know like a, a big fridge freezer but the solid white paint I think is quite good at hiding like swirl marks. I'm not the best car cleaner. I probably would like swirl up some metallic paint, it's pretty good. Yeah, the only issue with the white paint is like everyone knows it doesn't stay clean for very long. Maybe if we get when we go into summer, it'll start to be cleaner. A bit longer. Yeah. yeah the only other thing, so this is a completely standard car. The only things I've added are the dog guard, because I've got dogs the mat for the boot and a dash cam now I got a next based one uh, I think it's like the 312 GW which is like the Wi-Fi enabled one I haven't hardwired it in because I did get the hardwiring kit for like a tenner but then I didn't do it because I thought you might have to like be drilling holes through the bulkhead now if you know how to hardwire them in let us know but I've just got it basically like plugged into the uh, cigarette lighter and then like wired up underneath the, uh, the seat and that which you can still see it but like it's black on black fortunately because like the headline is black let us know if you've got a dash cam what you think about them whether you're any good or not which I reckon what's mm. the best brand yeah because stuff like that we haven't really covered on the channel like kit have we like aftermarket kit like yeah that could be like detailing products Charging ports. Charging cables and ports. Seat covers. I suppose people don't usually buy them anymore, do they? Or like radio <laughs> units. People yeah, always yeah. used to be in like double din. Like a big double din media unit with a big screen. How's the car been driving? Uh, long-term miles per gallon so that's over 472 miles is average is 30 miles per gallon now when I first got the car and we were doing some videos with Dave I was saying I was getting like 35 miles per gallon I think the reason why that's a bit lower than that is because the weather's been worse and traffic in Liverpool hasn't really been that good because they've been doing loads of like roadworks and stuff hopefully when it goes into summer and we start to get the warmer weather and the engines a bit warmer straight away Hopefully that should creep up to like 35. And maybe we'll do another video on that in the summer. I wish there was a way of finding out your MPG over the whole life of the car. Because obviously long term makes it sound like you're going to have the data for, you know, 8,000 miles. What's the, what's the MPG over 8,000 miles? like almost brand new like you'd expect from like you know a 10 month old car but sometimes you hear like horror stories about sorry about the road um you know like chairs starting to rub from where like people have been jumping in or like like mark scuffs on the door because like the plastic isn't hard enough or like the steering wheel starting to wear down i haven't seen any of that on the car so far there's like very little marks on the exterior and the interior like as soon as you give it a good clean and a good hoover it's mint the only part that i have seen quite a bit of wear on is the 
floor mats and especially my one the driver's one the color seems to have like it's a, it's gone a lot lighter very quickly as if it's been like wet and then dried and then wet and then dried and then the colors just run out of it and they seem to have buckled a bit obviously from where i've had like my heel in the in the mat i like they've worn down quite a bit yeah do you think you would have gone for the rubber mats if you'd have known that i think so yeah and i do like the idea of those rubber mats because you can just pull them out get a hose on them get them down especially if like like me we're always going the beach with the dogs like i've got a rubber mat in the boot we'll get a shot of that that's like an aftermarket one um i definitely recommend getting one of them especially if you're going to actually use the boot on the estate just because it saves the felt in there from getting worn down and then as soon as that's been worn down that's it then isn't it i like the idea of those rubber mats maybe we'll get a pair interior wise i think it look mint apart from the mats so we'll show you now the one thing that has happened which you hate like i know where the hole is as the bishop said to the actress you put the key in but you always manage to get a few little marks there don't you yeah okay so like i said before the interior i think looks mint it's just been hoovered like a bit like a two minute job the steering wheel still looks good there's hardly any scratches on it the mats they're a different story i don't know if you can pick it up on the camera but they just look a bit faded you can definitely pick that up, yeah. 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 And there's like, when you take it out to Hoover, there's like a proper dint where like my heel's been sitting. And like, I'm not the heaviest guy and I've got the biggest feet. So yeah, maybe I'd, I might get some rubber mats. Like the seats, like there's very little wear on like the side where you slide in. I reckon something like that's proper prone. So that sort of thing, because obviously it sticks up so much. Yeah. Like, you're just going to keep catching it and catching it. And I've been jumping in and out of this car like three or four times a day, basically, for like 10 months. But even on the door, like I've been kicking the door all over the place. Like... Every time you get in. Every time I get in, just for good luck. Yeah. It does look... look looks good. good. on a two-year two-year lease yeah. two-year lease and you're nearly a year in yeah you're thinking about your next car yet yes what are you thinking either it's definitely got to be an estate or some sort of van because my requirements are is where it might turn off i've got two dogs i've got a kid i've got a wife so there's going to be a pram and all the other crap that goes with stuff like that um so it's either got to be an estate to either an a4 avant some sort of golf estate i quite like those say at leon estates yeah um or like some sort of like transporter because obviously where we're based there's like transporters all over the place so you do see some nice ones some nice transporters yeah but i, I want it to be auto just because like the sort of driving i do through liverpool it's always like start stop start stop and I can't be asked with a manual gear stick. This was your first auto, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you wouldn't can... go back? No, no. I don't think I need another 310 brake car. It's where a lot of people are going to say, oh, that's like, you always need a fast car. Like, I don't get the chance to drive it fast. My commute is through town. If you lived out in the country on the sticks and you were like on like national speed limit roads a lot more, then, you know, you could cane it a bit, but so i reckon some sort of like golf estate like a gtd maybe or like an a4 event like a 1.4 uh, or like those say at leon 1.4 estate but ultimately if the golf r works out cheaper you'd go for that or the cooper 300 estate works out cheaper than the 1.4 that's what i'll be going for yeah because i don't do enough miles to warrant like a decent miles per gallon. Now, this video is probably a bit more different than our other videos. 
on our channel especially recently we've had loads of Geneva stuff we've had loads of A4 Black Edition we've had loads of Golf GTA whatever stuff we've done that RS5 let us know what sort of videos you want to see on the channel you know do you want to see like fleet videos like where we go to our fleet center and we just talk about all the crap cars that are there like Peugeots and Citroëns or do you want to see more stuff on like specific cars so maybe we get a car for a few days and we smash like a load of videos in or maybe you want to see like more like dealership videos so we'll go to a dealership and see what cars they've got in stock like demos like the RS5 or videos like this yeah because I think we're not top gear I'm sure the 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 stable fam might disagree and say no you are as good as top gear but maybe Specky Dave Maybe Specky Dave's as good as Clarkson. We're just driving back to Stable. I think there's an RS5 in here. We're gonna uh, we're gonna go for a peek. I think he'd mind us doing a walk around on his car that he didn't get from us. It's getting driven that as well, isn't it? RS5 Coupe. Coupe. Doesn't this? Doesn't he know the Sportback's the new one? He's probably looking out of his window, thinking, "There's the Stable lads. There's the Stable lads. There's the Stable mobile." Oh, I have to be over this speed bump. See, Top Gear don't have to deal with speed bumps, do they? No. The famous stable turning circle. <laughs> this is completely random. We're going to do more videos like this. We want to know what sort of things you want us to talk about. So, have you got any questions about the Golf? Are you getting a Golf? Are you getting a Volkswagen? Are you getting an Audi? Let us know what questions you've got in the comment section below. And either we'll answer them before Dave gets back. Or when Dave gets back, then he'll probably do them. Okay, cool. So we're going to wrap it up here. I think we could talk about it all day and listen to me waffling on. I want to know how to do that reversing thing with the mirrors. If anyone knows how to do that, I'll be grateful. And we'll do a video on it. Car cleaning products and also your process. What do you use and how do you do it? We'll try and do a video on the pipes. And I'll bring in that tub of shadazzle. 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 Dash cam. Have you got one? What do you think? Tips and tricks for the car. Like, have you have you done anything when you've set it up to make it your own? Like, with your phone, the sat nav, Apple CarPlay. And what sort of videos do you want to see on the channel? When Dave gets back from his holiday, we'll, we'll have a word with him. We'll tell him what's what. We'll get those videos on this channel. And one last thing. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. I'm not going to ask you to follow us on Instagram. We don't want you. No, we do want you. Oh, you do want you to subscribe, but we're not going to ask you. We don't you. have to. I'm just going to subtly mention it. Check out the link below where you can find our stable t-shirts. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.